está? Nos encontramos aquí en la nueva casa Guinda y estamos con uno de los extranjeros refuerzo de Tomateros de Culiacán, Ryan Lollis, con quien vamos a platicar. Y bueno, hi Ryan, how are you doing? Good, thanks for having me. I have reading. Uh, tell me your story about the the three drafts that you have been first in the 2005 Pirates uh, picked you and you don't want to be with them. Uh, what happened in this this three? And you <laughs> you have wait for the 2009. Right, when right, Giants right. Uh, oh, picked no, no, you, no, the Tigers. Tigers, and then the Giants. So. And then the Giants. Yeah, right, right. Uh, tell me about this story. Um, in high school, uh, the Pirates drafted me in the 20th round, uh -huh. and um, I wanted to go play, but my my parents and then my dad, or sorry, my parents and my high school coach, they wanted me to go to school, and so oh, okay. it was kind of out of my. Uh, I couldn't make the decision because <laughs> they still own me, I guess. So you know, I went I went to University of Missouri. And then uh, three years later, I got drafted by the Tigers. Same round. And, um, you know, the reason why I didn't go to that is we had a good team coming back to Missouri. I had so much fun. Um, and personally, I felt um, I was a better player than in high school, and I got drafted in the same round. I just I had an ego um, in college. And then, you know, my senior year, you know, thankfully I got drafted again. And so, you know, I had no choice but to take it. So you have to prove to your parents that you really want to play baseball. Yeah, I mean, they wanted me to go to school because, you know, like, school's important. Your parents are always talking, school, school. And I'm like, no, baseball, like, I want to play. So, you know, but I had to listen to them in the end, so. Which career are you, you were starting? Uh, in college? Uh -huh. College, um, all kinds. I started with business and then too much math for me. Okay, so, so math is not for baseball, but... It's not for me. It's not for me. It's for baseball, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Okay, tell me about uh, the pass that you have at the big show when the Giants called you. Oh, it was amazing. You know, it's a dream come true. Getting called to the big leagues. You know, everybody dreams of it since they're a little, a little niño, right? Uh -huh. And uh, you know, I finally made it. And you know, after six years of playing, and it was a blessing and a dream come true. I thank God every day for it. You know. To come to play here to Mexico, who saw you? Who was your scout? Who, to, who tell you? Who was your contact to be here? Oh um, man, it, it was kind of funny because I was I was gonna go to Venezuela and um, just well I talked to Jorge. I don't know where he's at, but Jorge yeah. Tejer. Yeah. So I, I've met him before, and um, you know I, I was back in Houston and my high school coach kind of knew some people and. Uh, got me in contact with uh, the Tomateros and I, I wanted to come here back in 2012 uh -huh. but it didn't work out so but it worked out this year and I'm having the time of my life I love it here what is the difference it has, it's a big, big difference uh, like triple A in, in minor leagues in USA and, uh, and uh, Venezuela, Venezuela baseball or Mexican baseball it's that's a tough question because there's so many good players you know in triple A Because um, everyone that's played here, Venezuela or, you know, AAA, I mean, some of them have some big league time, like in the major league. So there's a lot of talent. So, I mean, that's a tough, that's a tough question. I don't know which one's the best, but, I mean, there's talent. Uh, similar? Everywhere. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Why, they're, they're which, similar. which one is more, I don't know, so? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, they're similar, you know, because you got good pitching and good defense everywhere. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Many players, many American players, uh, called to another players who already came to here to right, play baseball right. and to know about this league. Did right. you call someone? Um, who did I know? Man, no, I didn't know anybody uh, about that played here. I mean, I guess in 2012 I talked to um, Justin Christian. Y'all know who that? He told me about this league. I mean, I knew about it, but I didn't know like the talent and how everything went down and. But I guess to answer your question, he was the one who informed me about the, you know, the Mexican league. So, okay. yeah. Thank you so much, Ryan. It's nice to see you here. And you know that right now you are one of the uh, best uh, batting uh, batters that Tomateros has. And what are you doing for uh, get better your batting here? Uh, just you know, work every day. Um, listen to the coaches. Just you know, whatever they got for me, I try and do. Um, just compete. Stay focused every day. I, I like to compete. You know, I don't. I don't like getting out. I don't like when the pitchers get me out. So that, that kind of drives me, you know. Have you learned something about uh, something new for your career for your career here in the Mexican League? Yes, definitely. Um, how to hit the off-speed pitches. They throw a lot of off-speed down here, and it, and it's pretty good. So it's it's teaching me how to um, adjust to um, off-speed pitching and 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 all that. So yeah, I'm learning quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.